everyone welcome to my english channel i'm faye and today i'm gonna show you guys how i do my everyday natural makeup look uh, i do it like this every single morning it takes me about 10 minutes no more than 10 minutes to do that and the video took me a bit longer because i was explaining about products chatting with you guys a little bit <laughs> and i hope you guys enjoyed this video but before i get started i'd like to invite you guys to subscribe here to my channel if you're not subscribed here yet and let's get started and here we go, I have my bare face and I'm gonna start applying my under eye primer from Smashbox. I've been using this one for a while and I really like it. Oh, just to let you guys know, I already prepped my face before starting the video. So I washed my face, I put a toner and moisturizer and then sunscreen. So I do that in the morning, first thing when I wake up so I will wait my eye primer set. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I just started using this L'Oreal brow pomade. It got it a few days ago, but I'm super used to the pencil to draw my eyebrow. As you guys can see, my eyebrows are very thin. There you go. It, I should use the pencil sharpener. It's way better. So I just like to draw the base because that gives me a better idea from where to start and then I go with the pomade. But I'm gonna fix it later. I'm gonna start with now this brow pomade. I can't remember the color. I think it's something brunette. I think deep brunette. Well, I'm gonna write all the products in the description below so you guys will know in better details and here we go and this uh, brush that comes with the pomade is really good it's a very firm brush different than the ones that I have uh, for makeup because before having this pomade um, I used to do my eyebrows with this pencil that I showed you guys and uh, eyeshadow. But now I got into this pomade and I really love it. It lasts longer. And I think I like the way it looks once, once it's done. This one is a bit. Because I am using the camera as my mirror and I shouldn't have done that. I have a mirror in front of me. Great, now the next step, I'm gonna use my very first favorite makeup product, concealers. Yes, I used to. So this NARS concealer, I like to wear under my eyes or around the eye area because it's a more moisturizing one. And this one from Milani, it's a long wear one. And I like to wear on the areas where it's mostly oily on my face which which actually are the areas that I mostly use um, concealer right so here a little bit of here on the forehead around the nose and here a little bit like around my lips and on my chin hide this monthly visitors that I have here on my face <laughs> I start with the eye first. Uh, NARS concealers is my very, very favorite. I've been using for years. But the Milani concealer, I found that out when I was pregnant. So in 2019. And I also really like that to use in the other areas of my face. As you guys can notice, well, you guys are going to notice, I don't wear foundation. I don't like to apply like foundation all over my face. I just like to cover the spots that mostly need coverage. I'm thinking in Portuguese, so sometimes I speak things that doesn't make sense. <laughs> I hope you guys can understand. Here. Forehead, 
I love it, like doing my eyebrows and put concealer on. I can go out like this. When I'm in a hurry, I actually do. I just wear blush, I love. This is my second favorite makeup product, blush. Let me go with the, uh, what is this? Wonder Stick to contour. I don't like to contour my entire face. I just like contouring my forehead because now with pandemic, we are wearing face masks all the time, right? So I feel like we have to look better from here, like up. <laughs> So this is what I've been doing, contouring just the forehead, just to go quicker. I love this color, I love the product, it spreads super easy, like I can just use my finger and it looks great. And now I'm gonna use the same brush that I applied concealer and just get rid of the line, make it look better. Okay, let me just apply a little bit here on their eye because now we're going to go with the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. It's a loose setting powder to avoid cross contamination. I like to use this one because we are not supposed to dip our brushes inside the containers, right? So they can last longer. Here we go. Start with the eye. This one smells so delicious. I love it. Ta da! Now I go on the areas where it's most, mostly oily on my face. And forehead. A little bit more here on my forehead. And whatever is left. I like to apply here my hairline because I have oily hair. I feel like it can help a little bit. I use a dry shampoo as well. I have to use it every day because I have very oily hair, unfortunately. Um, but I also do this. Next step, I'm gonna go with blush, my second favorite product. I'm gonna go with this Morphe. It's a blush trio called Pop of Peach. And I'll use this, the middle one, creator. So I like to do this when applying the blush and then I go with straight motion and then circular motion to spread my baby hair getting on the way. Because when you apply blush like this, it gives you a facelift, right? A little bit of facelift. And I need that because sleep deprivation is real when you have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Feeling a bit older already. My eyes here have never been so deep. I already went to the dermatologist to talk to her about fillers. And I may go for that. Still, still debating. <laughs> I've never done filler before. I've done Botox before, but not filler. So I'm still debating on that. So these are my very favorite shades of brown for eyeshadow. It's from MAC, as you guys can notice. And I'm gonna start with soft brown, applying all over the crease. I love, love, love this color. It's super beautiful. No wonder why it's the best seller. I bet many of you guys already know. If you don't, go to the store and try it when you have a chance because this is so beautiful. If you have olive skin like I do, go for it. Okay, now I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna go with this one here, the darker one, Swiss Chocolate, another very favorite eyeshadow from MAC. And first things first, I'm going just to apply it. I'm tapping, but I'm going fast. Right, I'm just going to place the product where I want it, here in my outer corner only, and then I'm gonna start blending, 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 without moving it, I just wanna stay in place. But then I do this too, around the crease, to create depth, makes it look really good. Perfect. Same thing on my other eye, other outer corner. And we go a 
over there here on the page. Perfect. And now, with this flat brush, I'm going to apply this one, all that glitters, here in the middle to the inner corner. I'm going to spread a little bit between this area. This is such a gorgeous shade. I think I did a little bit too much of it. Because um, it's like, what is that? Like a peach champagne, I would say. It's not super white and not super gold. It's just perfect. I love, love, love this eyeshadow. As I told you guys, I'm gonna fix it. So I come with the brush that I applied to this chocolate, the dark eyeshadow, and I'm just going to blend, that's it. No more like extra product. I just use whatever is left in the brush. Same thing here, just to blend. Perfect. Now with this round brush, I'll go with this one, Ord under my eyebrows oopsie i put on my eyebrow i accidentally did that should be doing this in here there we go perfect let me fix my eyebrow too there you go just with whatever is left on the brush great and now time for mascara I like to curl my lashes first. As you guys can notice, I barely have eyelashes, right? They're so thin and so short. And this is my very favorite mascara. It's Toleriani, Toleriani, I don't know how to say, mascara, Volume Allergy Tested from La Roche-Posay. If you have sensitive eyes like mine, you should go for this one. This is the only mascara I can use. And I've tried so many brands, from the most affordable to the high-end brands. Hmm, nothing worked. This one is the best one for me. Quality, and it feels nice. It doesn't burn my eyes after putting on. See the difference? <laughs> and here we go. One. Keep doing this with my forehead and it's stopping that. I went for Botox a few months ago. I've always had Botox done since I was 29. So I've done that like for what seven, eight years. And then I got pregnant and I didn't. And I had my baby, was breastfeeding, and then I decided to go for Botox last year. I did not like the result. I think my dermatologist put way too many units. Seriously, I was looking like a witch. <laughs> the part wouldn't move. And I'm like, you know what? I prefer the wrinkles. <laughs> not that I love them, but I don't like the effect. It didn't look good. Uh -huh. So here we go. Annabelle 405 Demure. This is very inexpensive. I got at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Toronto because I live in Canada and I love this color. Here. And I like to apply this one. And I don't always apply lipstick, I just apply this one. And a lip balm. By the way, I already applied lip balm before starting the video. Actually, not lip balm, I applied Aqua 4. Aquaphor is the best lip balm ever. My lips are super dry and nothing works better than Aquaphor for me. Let me show you guys. Look, this glass jar, I put some Aquaphor from my son's because <laughs> uh, I have a big jar because I used to, to put on him. And I put here and just leave it on my bathroom. And after I finish brushing my teeth, it's the first thing that I do, I apply Aquaphor on my lips and they are always looking great. Perfect. 
And that's it. I'm done and ready for the day. Okay, so it took me a lot longer because I keep talking and explaining about the products, but in the morning I do it like this. Because imagine, I have a 18 month old baby here with me, so I have to do it fast. I'm super used to this makeup and I like to apply that every single day. I really do. This for me is my natural makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe here to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And we'll see you on the next video. Beijo, ciao.